The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Living Environment Ensure the availability of living accommodation through environmentally sound resources and tactics. The Shahid Park, a landscape innovation in Kuwait, opened in March 3, 2015, has been in the spotlight of the media due to its innovative concept and design. It has become one of the main major works of urban development in the region. Its architect is Ricardo Camacho of Portuguese origin, who has carried out through his work the reconstruction of an old park developed in the 60s as part of the city's green belt. The park represents nowadays an ecological haven for Kuwait's population. It helps to reduce pollution and to protect the city against sandstorms. Its plant's capacity to survive in weather as harsh as Kuwait's makes it an example of environmental development. The park has two museums, the Habitat Museum, which gathers environmental data about Kuwait, flora and fauna weather, and the Remembrance Museum, which offers a review of Kuwait's battles and the first Gulf War. There's also a monument to the Constitution, erected to commemorate its 50th anniversary, a visitor center, an underground car park, a 1,200 meter squared lake that contribute to the park's irrigation, and an aviary. It also opens its gates to the public at night, which allows to see its singular illumination that contrasts with the colorful city skyline. The park holds the celebration of national events and holidays, part of a political and social project developed by the Amiri Diwan office, whose goal is to encourage the population's presence in public spaces. The park is an area of relaxation, open to the whole family, where environmental sustainability, leisure and culture coexist. Shahid Park is the largest park in Kuwait City. The garden features is a large green spaces and a range of fountains in the center of the garden. And as social media responses towards a Shahid Park, please let's read to gather up on the screen. Sarah said a Shahid Park is one of the most beautiful landmarks in Kuwait, encourage the people to walk in this beautiful atmosphere. And Dalal said here, the Shahi Park with beautiful fountains and the design of wonderful spaces is worth the visit. The people shared a lot of poems and songs under the beautiful pictures and videos, which contains the beauty of the park, and they said it's one of the most beautiful projects established in Kuwait. And here are some of the reviews regarding a Shahi Park. Amazing place to walk, and it also have a beautiful museum. An amazing park in the heart of Kuwait City where you can enjoy a light meal or a coffee. Then enjoy the museum inside it, which tells you about the history of animals and plants in Kuwait. To learn more about the park and its effectiveness, please visit their website, www.ashahipark.com, and their accounts in Twitter and Instagram on the screen. The Kuwait Fire Service Directorate has opened a private quarantine for its members. The quarantine provided in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and it includes a medical clinic to examine the firefighters and all the necessary protective supplies to cope the crisis. And the clinic investigations are done on a daily basis for the safety and health of the firefighters and to ensure the continuity of work 
particularly firefighter sectors. The Kuwait Fire Service Directorate has taken all precautionary measures in anticipation of the bad health conditions that may happen in the coming period among employees of the Kuwait Fire Service Directorate due to the spread of the new coronavirus COVID-19. So as of now, if we inspect any swipe from the uh, firefighters uh, during his duty, he will be transferred to a checked area and take all the necessary uh, inspections and he could stay there uh, until he's cured from uh, this virus. Along with that, all these endeavors uh, are made to uh, reduce the burden and support the Ministry of Health uh, uh, efforts with the cooperation of the Kuwait Fire Service Directorate. Everyone's efforts are afoot to try to prevent the new coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. The establishing of the firefighters quarantine comes in a manner that guarantees the continuation of work in all Kuwait fire services and providing full support to the rest of the state agencies. In these exceptional circumstances, the world is going through. Kuwait has a distinct position within the field of motorsport in the region. In addition to the love of the Kuwaiti people for motorsport and the high and rooted culture that it enjoys in this field. Kuwait is building a world-class motor town which will feature seven racing circuits that would enable the country to host Formula One and motor races in the future. The integrated city of motorsports consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all kinds of international races, cars, motorcycles and an academic centre. The project includes the construction of a pit building, a media centre, a hotel and the shopping mall in Arifjan, south of Kuwait City in Kuwait. Motor Town will position itself as a new destination with a unique FIA Grade 1 circuit as the nucleus of the state-of-the-art facility with a fully integrated portfolio of entertainment assets that will attract a wide spectrum of people. The integrated city of motorsports which carried out by the Amiri Diwan consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all types of world races with an area of 2.6 million square meters. The project is located south of the city in Arafjan, adjacent to the Wafra Road. The project of designing and building motor town in Kuwait is estimated at 49 million Kuwaiti dinars. Motor town has been designed by Germany's Tilk, which hold credit for a number of popular F1 tracks, including Yas Marina in Abu Dhabi, UAE. The Kuwait Motor Town Racing Circuit has opened officially in the area of Arafjan on the 20th of March 2018 and the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, patronized the opening ceremony. Kuwait Motor Town will be a world-class race tracking that will feature seven racing circuits. The project is being handled by the Emiri Diwan who are behind projects like Shahib Park and the new cultural center. And here are some of the reviews. Talal said an excellent place to experience driving with races and perhaps with the cold weather. And Mubarak Dossari said good place and there is a restaurant that offers wonderful food and a lovely place for children to ride cars. And Badri Rumi said, wonderful and fun place for kids and adults, recommended to visit it to enjoy the driving experience. And from Ahmed Al Haddad account, after a long wait, the Dream Project Kuwait International Circuit. And from Rest account, the National Assembly recommends the establishment of a race car circuit for young people to practice their hobbies in accordance with the international rules and regulations. From New Kuwait account, Kuwait in 2035 among top 35 countries in the world. Future to be with you.